I will say good evening, primetime squad. <laughs> but it is well into the midnight hours. And I'm up here just working on um, a cake order that is for a friend of mine's daughter who is turning 16. And she asked me, could I make her some Sweet 16 uh, cupcakes for her birthday? And of course, you know, I like to make desserts for my friends. So that's what I'm doing right now. But, um, hold on one second. I have to, uh, make sure I can see my chat. Just in case some of y'all might happen to be up this morning. I know a lot of y'all probably sleep. So, and I was going to um, record this and then repost it in the morning. But I'm like, hey, Chris's world. How you doing? <laughs> I did not think anybody would be uh, up this time of hour. Although I've been seeing some people um, upload some... Uh, YouTube videos, I have seen that. But, um, again, I'm just up here decorating uh, some cupcakes for my, well, most of y'all know I'm a, you know, personal custom cake decorator, cupcakes, cakes, party treats, you know, you name it. And so that's what I'm doing right now. But uh, I had... And if you know anything about bakers or cake decorators, you know that we normally work in the middle of the night. <laughs> That's like the best time to get some work done. So right now I'm just making some leaves on these cupcakes so I can put some rosettes on top. And the color scheme is white, gold, and hot pink for a 16 year old girl but i um wanted to do this live tonight just to find out you know what do you guys think about the new youtube guidelines have y'all checked them out so far or did y'all know that there were some new youtube guidelines that you know just came out um i have been hearing that there were going to be some new youtube guidelines you know and i'm not shocked because man if you've been perusing these YouTube streets, it's been a mess. <laughs> hey, Pam and Jamie's World, how you doing? Have you checked out the new YouTube guidelines yet? I know um, one thing that they did change, it says the biggest change is a new warning strike that YouTube will be issuing um starting on february 25th so what's today uh the 19th no the 20th it's now the 20th because it's like 1 a.m well where i'm at it's like 1 a.m so i guess starting the 25th which is like five more days um these new youtube uh regulations is gonna be coming out and or new guidelines and they said the biggest one is a new warning strike that youtube will start issuing on february 25th after a channel's first rule violation youtube will issue a one-time warning with no penalty except for removing the offending content and they said this is to make sure everyone takes the time to learn about the community guidelines. This is what YouTube is saying. Now, I guess that's a pretty good thing because a lot of people were complaining about, you know, YouTube being too harsh and a lot of people uh, not knowing exactly, you know, like, okay, 
I checked over the YouTube guidelines, but I'm sorry. Sometimes, sometimes it can be a little confusing. It can be a little confusing. Uh, so for them to start that and, you know, give you like some kind of warning. Yeah, make sure you check that out, Pam and Chris and whoever happens to come in on this live or see the live tomorrow morning if they happen to check it out tomorrow morning because it is uh, really some important information. And I must admit, I didn't have videos flagged in the past. And when I see it, I'm like, what I do? <laughs> like, are you kidding me? What did I do? And for them to now, you know, give you an opportunity to have a strike and then they just remove the content, you know, before they, you know, grow any farther. I think that's cool. I think that's cool. Uh, what else does it say? It says, after the one-time warning, YouTube's existing three-strike system kicks in. So that's what I was saying, you know, um, that's why I was saying, uh, that's, you know, kind of cool that they give you a one-time warning before the three strikes kick in. Because as we know, you know, anybody who's ever had a strike or had to have some content removed by YouTube, um, <laughs> it's like no warning. You log on to your YouTube and you get this mean message from YouTube saying something like, you need to take this YouTube guideline um, uh, tutorial and you got to pass the test and it's, <laughs> it's crazy. And I think, um, I mean, okay, a lot of people know that there's been a lot of stuff going on on YouTube. Uh, a lot of petitions going around because of people, you know, uh, a lot of people, you know, is claiming others are abusing, you know, YouTube by like digging into piece of people's personal information, um, contacting people's employers, people's families, um, trying to get people fired from their jobs. I mean, it's, it's all kind of stuff going on on YouTube, uh, and again, if you if you really be on these YouTube streets, you'd have seen some of that, if not all of that. And it's 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 really sad what's going on on YouTube. Uh, I I sometimes wonder, you know, uh, why certain things get by on YouTube, and so that's why somebody you know put out a petition. And, you know, was telling people to sign it if they agree with the petition, if they've been harassed, if they've been bullied on YouTube, if YouTube has not taken um, enough measures against people that um, people are claiming is bullying or harassing others. So, a lot of people have been saying, you know, this is coming, this is coming, YouTube is about to change some stuff up. Uh, one thing, one thing about the new changes. Um, if you're going to be doing a lot of cussing, like a lot of explicit cursing, um, over the top cursing, just a lot of cursing, they recommend you put that on private right away. Right away. And there are some people that I know. <laughs> there are some people that I know who curse a lot on YouTube. And I'm not judging them because I curse every now and again, so I'm not judging them. But, you know, uh, if you want to get monetized, if you want to have commercials allowed on your channel so that you can get monetized, I'll just put some little leaves on there. Let's see, like some little leaves. And if you want to be monetized on your channel then <laughs> you better not be cursing too much because that is an issue that YouTube has been having. 
And I know Lockhead, you know, she was talking about her channel earlier, Lockhead Boss Lady, who I follow. Great channel. Um, so, so check her out. Subscribe to her channel if you like it. You know, check her out. Um, I subscribe to her. I think she's a really cool chick. And she's really supportive of the YouTubers, you know. So I definitely want to give her a shout out because she is a really good YouTuber. Very supportive. Um, she ain't all about that drama on her channel, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? But, uh, she, um, had done a twerking video, you know, because she has, her channel is mainly about fitness and health, healthy eating, you know, dieting, working out, you know, dancing, you know, shaking the pounds off, twerking the pounds off, you know, whatever, whatnot. And somebody, I don't know if it was somebody in particular, or if, you know, YouTube bots, you know, their system ran across it and was like, oh, heck no, you up there twerking and shaking your butt. I mean, she's fully clothed, fully clothed in her, you know, workout gear, uh, jogging pants, shorts, you know, whatnot. And they flagged her video. And so YouTube is basically saying... If you show any part of your body, like any open exposure to your breast, um, any open exposure to, and, and like your butt, your butt, like she wasn't naked. She didn't have a thong on. She, you know, she didn't have no really short, short, you know, them hoot shorts, you know, boot cutters, whatever you want to call them. Um, she didn't have like nothing like that on, but... They flagged her channel. So, you know, YouTube, I think they are trying to get a lot more stricter, which is, is, is a good thing. Um, there are some good things on this uh, new guidelines. And then there are some questionable things like, okay, you know, y'all going to flag for that, you know. So y'all need to check that out and make sure that you guys are, you know, in the know on that information because YouTube is not going to specifically go to each and every person, knock on your door, call you on the phone or email you and say, uh, excuse me, sis, excuse me, bro. But you might want to check out the new YouTube guidelines. They not going to go person to person. Now what they do is, um, if you go to like your creator studio and you have to do it on, uh, you have to do it on your laptop or you have to go to, basically you can't do it in the app. You can't do it in the app. So you have to go to, you know, your laptop because you have to be on the actual browser, you know, to see all the, uh, guidelines. But, um. Yeah, you definitely, you guys definitely want to take note. And um, it's also saying, uh, let's see. Okay, after the one-time warning, YouTube existing three strike system kicks in. As before, strikes come with escalating penalties. But they'll reset if a channel doesn't break the rules for 90 days. Now, that warning strike is a one-time deal, and that doesn't reset. So, that basically means if you, like, get a warning and you do something wrong, uh, well, if you do something wrong, you'll get a warning. But if you do something wrong again, uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry for you. I'm sorry for you. You don't get that penalty. And then if you get another, that when you get that penalty, it'll fall off. Like, it'll, it'll reset after, like, 90 days. But let's see how many pinks I got. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Okay. Um, get this rosette on here. But if you get the warning, it's kind of like how it is now, where... If you do something bad, um, YouTube is going to give you a strike. And after 90 days, then they'll take it off. But just like before, if you get too many strikes, 
um, your channel can be totally taken down. You don't want that to happen. So you guys, make sure, again, make sure that you check out those uh, new guidelines. I read over them. Um, well, actually, Lockhead was talking about them earlier. She was talking about them earlier on her channel. And so after I heard her talking about it, I was like, okay, I need to go check these out because I need to know what's going on. Because, again, you know, I'm one of those people, like so many others, who have, you know, had a channel flag for whatsoever, you know, whatsoever reason. And it's, it's, it's awful when that happens. And especially, like, sometimes, you know, a lot of people think that somebody is purposely, you know, might be flagging their channel. And, you know, in the scheme of things, if you're doing wrong on your channel, you know, you could be upset. Oh, somebody did it. Somebody's hating on me. Somebody's, you know, reported me because they don't like me. Or because, you know, we got into it on YouTube. You know, it happens. It happens. But in the scheme of things, we have to look out for ourselves. Nobody else is going to look out for us. And if you appreciate and value your YouTube channel, then, you know, again, you have to make sure that you follow these new guidelines. So, again, um, you guys who are watching right now, you might want to check on that. Uh, let me see. What else does it say? Uh, okay. Um, do, 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 do. Okay, YouTube is also updating the penalties for receiving a strike um, based on your feedback. So I guess based on, you know, uh, people, you know, feedback, um, surveys, you know, things like that. Based on your feedback, all community guideline strikes will have the same penalty, um, the company says specifically. A first strike will get a channel frozen for one week. So, you know, again, that, that's kind of cool because at first, you know, <laughs> if you get, uh, if you get it on the first time, sometimes you can like lose your privileges, you know, to upload, you know, without a warning. So that's, you know, that's pretty good right there. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I was making sure that my color scheme was even. But, um, it says, first strike will get your channel frozen for one week. Users won't be able to upload or stream any content to YouTube, but that's just for one week. Um, then, like before, the strike will expire after 90 days. A second strike. Now, that was your first strike. So, first you get a warning. Um, and then if you mess up again, you get the first strike. And your channel will be frozen for one week. Frozen for one week. Now that is not so good. That part. Um, you won't be able to upload or stream any new content to YouTube. And like before, the strike will expire or will, you know, reset after 90 days. A second strike within that 90 day period will result in a two weeks uploading free. So you won't be able to upload or stream for two weeks. And again, that second strike resets after 90 days. Lastly, a third strike in that 90 day period will cause YouTube to shut down the channel. So that's kind of like before, you know, if you get so many strikes, three or four or whatever it was, you know, they can, you know, shut down your channel unless you appeal it and they agree that they were in the wrong or, you know, they withdraw it or whatever, whatnot. But YouTube is treating all violations of its community guidelines the same, meaning that someone who gets a strike for, say, impersonating another channel, 
will get the same exact penalty as someone who posts violent hate speech or threats. Now, that part I do like. Why? I'll let you know after I wash my hands. I'll be right back. saying about the hate speech lately there has been a lot of drama on facebook hey no nonsense hey honey you still up <laughs> i got on this late and i'm thinking oh i'll just make a video and i'll upload it um you know in the morning or something then i was like no i'm gonna go live <laughs> see who up but yeah i was just um you know up here as you can see decor decorating some cupcakes um, for a friend's daughter's 16, sweet 16. See, I got some little roses, some little leaves around them. Um, but I was, uh, see, what was I doing? What was I doing? Oh, um, I was, uh, just sitting here chopping it up with folks. Letting them know, you know, about the rules, the new guidelines. You said insomnia is kicking. Oh, thank you, hunky, honey. My best friend has insomnia, and she has to take uh, medicine for it, so I feel you. I, 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 I get it. I get it. But have you seen the new guidelines for YouTube? I was just reading over a little bit of them. You know, with the people uh, on live about the new strike system and the new uh, hate speech uh, guidelines and bullying and, you know, things of that nature. Um, there's a few things on there. Yeah, check them out. There's a few things on there that I'm like, Okay, this is cool. You know, I can rock with that. But then there are some things on there that's like, okay. Like the cursing. All that cursing that people be doing on their channels. You're going to have to, uh, you're going to have to, um, put restriction on them. Put age uh, restriction on them. You will not get monetized, of course, you know, when you do your age restriction. But like... They, they ain't going for all that cursing anymore. All that, I mean, all that, uh, a lot of, you know, a lot of cursing, a lot of explicit cursing. They're not going for that anymore. Um, they are giving you a warning from now on. Now, this don't start to the 25th. It don't start to the 25th. So, I'm just up here putting some little, uh, candy, candy pearls on some of these cupcakes. But uh, they, it don't start to the 25th, the new guidelines. But I was just stressing how important it is for us as YouTubers to make sure that we know about these guidelines because nobody's looking out for anybody's YouTube channel but us. You know what I'm saying? So if we value and appreciate our YouTube channel and, you know, like to get monetized and all that kind of stuff, then we definitely have to make sure that we look over these new YouTube guidelines. But yeah, now they're doing like where you get a uh, warning instead of them, you know, automatically uh, stopping you from uploading, you know, uh, or streaming, you know, like in the past, they would just, uh, you know, like, uh, like many of us has had uh, videos flagged. And next thing you know, we get this mean old message saying, I'm sorry, but you can't stream for 90 days or whatnot, you know, whatever. Now they're giving you like a warning, but you only get it once. You get one warning. One warning. They're going to delete the video, but they give you one warning. 
After that, when you get that first strike, they gonna suspend your channel for a whole week. You can't do nothing. You can go around and you can peruse and you can watch other people, but you can't do nothing on your channel for one week. And then, of course, that strike lasts for 90 days. 90 days. It doesn't roll off for 90 days. Um, when you get your second strike, YouTube is going to uh, take away your privileges on your channel for two weeks. Two weeks. And then, um, yeah, you said that's good because uh, all channels was flagged. You said that's good. My channel is flagged. And I'm not even contra. And see, that's the thing. That's 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 what I like about that part. I like that part. I like. Uh, what a lot of people will not like is how your whole channel will be frozen. They said your channel will be literally frozen for a week when you get your first strike. But what I like the most about it is it seems like they're really trying to um, come down on the people out here who are taking advantage of YouTube, bullying people, harassing people. They say anybody threatening, anybody harassing, oh, <laughs> it's a wrap. It's a wrap for you. It's a wrap. And you know I was on Five Babe's channel uh, earlier, and she was talking about how uh, even Tasha K was getting into the, uh, you know, getting into uh, trying to figure out what's going on with, you know, Sean and, uh, do I got enough pearls on here? Sean and, um, what's her name? Well, y'all know who I'm talking about. That lady. And she was basically saying, why do you keep harassing this dude for all this time? All this time you keep harassing this dude. If you got something on this dude, why aren't you down at the police station? Why aren't you contacting, you know, the authorities? If you think he's abusing his children or doing something to his children, why are you still on YouTube talking about it instead of taking it further? If you don't have no proof on this dude that he's doing something wrong to his children, then leave it alone. Tasha even says, send me the proof. Send me the proof. <laughs> and Five was like, she was like, no, I can't send it to you. I can't send it to you. <laughs> you said you don't do videos because people don't like me. Oh. Well, I hope that goes away pretty soon. Because again, with these stricter, you know, policies. Hopefully, it'll be a lot less harassing, a lot less, you know, bullying, a lot less flagging, a lot less, you know, people being more concerned about keeping their channel up and running instead of so worried about other people's channel. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't watch her. Oh, you don't watch Tasha or you don't watch Five? I don't really watch Tasha. I watch Five Babe every now and then. I used to always get up when I got up early in the morning with her doing her little, uh, her morning coffee and stuff. Hold on. Let me get, grab something. Her morning coffee videos. But I thought, I just thought that was interesting. Like out of all people, out of all people, Tasha was like, either basically put up or shut up, you know? Oh, let me show y'all something. Let me show y'all something. I hope y'all can see it. Okay. But anyway, it's a picture of the little girl whose 16th birthday it is. And... Her mother sent me some pictures that she took with her new outfit and her hair and everything. I'm trying to make sure y'all can see it. With her hair and everything. And basically, 
I use like my photo editor and edit it out the background and stuff. So I could uh put her picture on a cupcake topper made out of fondant. And in the background, it has like some zebra stripe patterns and a big gold, you know, sweet 16 on the back. So, put that on the cupcake. Um, Then I got like some gold, some gold numbers that I made out of fondant. Put on some of the cupcakes. But yeah, like 16, you only turn 16 once. Of course I'll do your daughter's cupcakes for her. And the thing about it is, <clears throat> you said you're going to have to get you to make me a comic. Oh, hunty. Fire, fire. I'm telling you. One thing I can do is bake my butt off and decorate some cakes. I don't know if you ever looked me up on uh, Facebook. But, um, I have, uh, I have a cake decorating page called Tanya's Delight Slice by Slice on Facebook. So you can go there and you can check out, you know, a lot of the work that I've done from, you know, wedding cakes to birthday parties. Um, birthday parties, anniversary parties, baby showers, but yeah, I'm almost done with these. Oh, you don't have Facebook? I get it. I get it. I know some people, uh, I don't have Facebook. Some people, mm, nope, can't do it. <laughs> I get it. Trust and believe. I understand. <clears throat> I have it because it's so good for, um, uh, for, um, uh, it's very resourceful. You know, I have different YouTube groups on Facebook, like my family reunion group, my, uh, my, uh, high school reunion group. So many things that I'm over, like I'm over the planning committee for my high school reunion, for my family reunion. Um, my, uh, I have a, you know, I'm on a hip hop line dance team. Um, basically that's line dancers, you know, the dance of hip hop music. But, uh, you know, things like that. So it's very beneficial for me to be on Facebook and then, you know, advertising my, uh, my desserts and all that kind of stuff. So it's very beneficial for me to do that. But, uh, yeah. But, oops, drop that one. Gotta get another one. But, man, I'm telling you. I, I still, you know, even though you don't follow them, I mean, that was just shocking to me. Like, I don't really follow Tasha. I used to, but I stopped following Tasha. Um, but for her to basically be like, okay, you know, come to Sean's defense, kind of, 
Like now you, I don't know if you know, but Tasha, she done, she done stirred up a lot of stuff on YouTube. A lot of people think, you know, she, she's uh, fake news, you know, uh, fake news. She can't be trusted, you know, for anything she says, you know, things like that. A lot of people just don't like her, but she does have, you know, a nice following. She has, you know, a whole bunch of followers, but a lot of people don't like her, but I was kind of like, I don't know, um, taken, taken back by her stepping into this situation because she claimed she didn't even have no idea that, uh, oh, I got some little, um, little crowns, it's a little, uh, picks that goes in the cupcakes and it got little pink crowns on it to match, you know, with uh, the pink and the cupcakes. So I'm gonna put them in there. Just stick them like in the back of the cupcake. <clears throat> but, you know, I was kind of like taking them back like, oh, okay. But I don't know, I mean, even with that, even with her, like, how a lot of people say that she was harassing and she was bullying people, you know, things like that. You know, maybe a lot of people on YouTube will change for the better. And maybe YouTube will eventually be fun again, like, you know, a lot of people say, you know, YouTube back in the day used to be fun. You know, it wasn't, uh, it, well, I mean, of course, you know, it's going to always be a little, you know, little, little drama, you know, here and there. You know, you might have to check a person here or there, you know, how it go. But overall, YouTube for a lot of people has been, like, not fun at all for a long time. Thank you, No Nonsense. You said you don't follow people who attack me for no reason, but I won't get into that. Oh, I get it. I get it. I wouldn't either. I wouldn't either, and I don't know, I don't know your whole story, so I can't talk on it, but I, I definitely understand. I definitely understand. I have to put a little more, a little more paint, a little more gold on my, one of my 16s. See, I have my little gold here. For my uh, gold numbers. It's all edible, by the way. All edible. Everything is edible on the cupcake. But I am done. Oh, they're so cute. Hold on, I'm going to get a cupcake holder, so I'll put them in a the cupcake holder, and you can see what they look like. But yeah, I certainly get what you're saying, um, as far as not following people who might have you know, done something wrong to you, stuff like that. I see a lot of stuff on YouTube and a lot of stuff I'm not totally privy to and I try not to, you know, involve myself and stuff that, you know, don't involve me, you know, basically. Man, I'm going to show y'all some of these cupcakes. Here's some of them. I hope y'all can see them okay. There's just a few of them. Sweet 16. They got, uh, pictures.
of the little girl. She's 16 years old. Hold on, let me get a little closer. She's 16 years old. And she's turning 16. So, yeah. This is what I enjoy doing in my spare time. But yeah, so anyhow. Auntie Who. <laughs> you said now you want a cupcake. <laughs> Uh. Oh, and these are vanilla, by the way. Yeah, I wish you had Facebook, but if you know somebody with Facebook, um, have them look up Tanya's Delight, Slice by Slice, on Facebook. And once you get on there, just click on photos. And it'll show you all my photos. From all the different um, cupcakes and cakes and parties that I've done and all that kind of jazz. But anywho, you guys, I'm done with these cupcakes. I'm about to call it a night. I'm about to wrap these bad boys up, put a label on them. <laughs> Stick them in the fridge. Um, till my friend picks them up tomorrow for her uh, birth for her daughter. But y'all make sure again, y'all check out those new YouTube guidelines because it is very important for us as content creators to make sure that we know exactly what's going on with YouTube so that we won't be in violation and have our channels frozen or get any strikes or you know basically get our channel taken away, you know. So let's look out for each other, make sure everybody, you know knows about the new YouTube guidelines. They start on the 25th. So we got about five days and then the new guidelines are going to start. I'm going to start. <laughs> you said ship you one. <laughs> okay, I'm going to one, one, take one of her cupcakes and put them in the box. She won't know one's missing. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, thank y'all for tuning in tonight. I, I know it's late. I'm surprised anybody was on here. I thought I was going to be on here talking to myself. But anyway, you know, you guys, I will check y'all out tomorrow. Um, tomorrow night, I'm going to come back with some reviews. Uh, I need to do um, Housewives of Atlanta, and I also need to do uh, Black Ink Chicago. So I'm going to do one of those tomorrow, maybe both, but definitely one of those tomorrow. So anyway, good night, everybody. Thank you. No nonsense. Look me up, hon. And in the meantime and in between time, as usual, Primetime Squad, stay safe, be blessed, and I'm out. Deuces.